Number 12 is Stephen Edge. Craig Young uh, would be next in line, but he will be the last man out as captain. That's Stephen Edge. <laughs> and the last man out, Captain Craig Young. The thing I noticed firstly running out was all the red and white in the, in the crowd. The crowd's already cheering. Greg Hartley blows time on, and the game is underway. St George kicks off deep into Canterbury's half. Gathered back there by Chris Mortimer. Canterbury makes down centre, Reg Gaznia. I'm sure that St George will be aiming at the edge of the Canterbury ruck. And that's a good break by Wynn of St George, and he's got the ball away to Quinn in the centre, and Quinn along fast back, back into Wynn. And that's back up, Winnie back up. Something new. Jeez, Corey. Yeah, great pass. Oh, he's slipping. Hammered. <laughs> <laughs> that's one thing Winnie could do, he could run. Harry put him on the edge. There's a wide running back row, which is not that common in the game at that that time. And in the excel. Yeah, he was big and he was strong and he didn't have a sidestep. He'd rather run over the top of you. And, um, you know, he, he was just a really, really good player. Georgie Grant was there. He had a great season with the boot. With the boot, I think he kicked over 200 points. Yeah, had a blind. season. Like, it's phenomenal. And the scrum will go down. This is, scrums are a bit different. <laughs> To what, to what they are today, like that one there. Penalty, and it's against Morris for not feeding the scrum correctly. How have they got the penalty? They yeah. slammed it to us first. <laughs> Take the whole thing forward, we put it in, and we, we get penalised against Young, trudge it, and give it a win, and win is almost through on to Johnson, and Johnson's in for a try. That's the first try of the match. His timing is... So it's all about timing. If he's a metre behind or a metre in front, it doesn't happen. Yeah. He was one of our best players on yeah. this on the day. Yeah. He really was. As it goes to Mortimer, out to the open side this time. Coming down on the line. Johnson goes up and he's caught it brilliantly. And he's now this is the one. See you later. Mm. I'm off. Steve Mortimer coming across after him. But he's uh, around one, down over the halfway line, but he's going to be caught by Cutler. That's fullback tackling, fullback. Close to yeah, Stan Cutler, Stan great yeah. tackle. Back in the play, the ball to Edge. Young, Trudgeon. And a through fence beautifully to Brennan. And Brennan close to the line to stop Johnson with him, but Brennan is over. Yeah, Mitch Brennan, he was one of the best wingers. Yeah. Very, very hard to stop because he was big and he was quick. I think he won a few awards where he won cars and he won boats mm. and all this type of stuff, being the, the best winger. And I think it was the Amco Cup games, I think. Morris. And the nice lead already, and beautifully on the win. And winners beat the tackle, he's inside the quarter. That's Reddy backing up, and they won't stop him. Reddy is in for a St George try, and it's 15 points to two. Reddy again, on a rocket, and he's yeah. in. Can't stop rocket. Here it is, the old toe poker. Yeah. That's the ready try, and it's 17 points to two in favour of St George. Because you know you're going, you know they're going to come back. Yeah. The thing is to understand, you you got the points in the bank, so they're going to come back. They got too many good players not to. So. And it's not as though they played poorly in that first half mm. either. It was just. I just thought there was a couple of really, really good tries. From dummy half, it's Graham Hughes. Getting it away to Mark Hughes, and on to Peter Mortimer, and that's a Canterbury try. Ooh. 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 an accident. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he didn't hit him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that one. But his defence, but look at Canterbury go. This is Gary Hughes in the gap again. And the kick through over the corner line and Cutler in the race to the ball. Oh, the bus. Oh, this <laughs> could be a try. Rocket. <laughs> it is. Try. It is. Sorry. Sorry, bus out. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to say it. Anyhow, that's what bus out told me. <laughs> well, the rock, rocket told him to leave it. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think so. I, I probably would have said that too. <laughs> Now the conversion attempt from wide out by Kieran of Canterbury. And it's going to be close, but just wide, no goal. And it's 17-13, uh, and there's the hooter. It's all over. St George has won the grand final and the 1979 championship, beating Canterbury Bankstown by 17 points to 13. Yeah, the score itself was, was close, but 
It was never. I don't, never, I, don't, never I, don't, I don't ever thought that the game was ever in doubt. No, never in doubt. Especially now that I know we won, I, I, I'm totally, totally <laughs> correct. And there's a delighted coach, Harry Barr. Oh, Harry, well, he's, you know, my first year, 77, and he, his first year as coach, and he was, things he taught me was um, to stay with me for my career and allowed me to yeah. achieve what I end up achieving. He's a very special coach. Well, I'm sure Edgy agrees with us. We're both very fortunate to uh, yeah. to still be involved in the game and, and with the club, which uh, gave us so much. And uh, as you said, this centenary year for the district this year, and we've got some events coming up and uh, legend walk inductees, and we've got another book coming out, museum in the Lees Club, the team of the century dinner at the end of the year in uh, in August, and it's important. As Harry Bath told me once, it's in, it's important to uh, keep remembering the people who dug the well. Yep. And St George's, all the premierships they've won, you know, in our view, are the most famous club in the history of the game. Well, this is probably the most recognised football jumper in the world, the, the Red V.